our project is about how robotics can help with many different sports. So Sean, tell me, what did you investigate? I investigated how robotics is helping professional boxers. I discovered a robot called Block Boxer. This is a robot equipped with high speed and good division. It is able, it reacts by moving its punching bag to avoid the user's incoming punches. It is, it is said that uh, it could react faster than a world champion. It can improve any boxer's boxing at any. I investigated how robots are used in Empire Baseball. Can you tell me a bit about the machinery? I learned that baseball are using a robot called Trackman. This is a radar ball tracking system that analyzes each pitch thrown. It records the ball's location and it's sent to the umpire via a coiled tube experience. iPhone is connected device to the Trackman data. Carly, can you tell me what sport you investigated? So Johnny, tell me what sport did you investigate? I investigated in how robotics can help with tennis. Tell me what did you discover? I discovered two different robots, the Boomer Tennis Robot and Tennibot. Okay. And can you tell me about the Boomer? The Boomer is a tennis robot that shoots the balls at you and you have to try and hit them. It trains your reaction time and how well you can reach to strike the ball. Okay, very good. Anything else that you learned about it? It has a camera on the side to see how well you fit the ball that has been thrown at you. We went to Castle Chai Golf Club to investigate robotics and golf. We met with Gary Halley, club professional. He showed us a new robotics system called Simple School. Here's how it works. The machine what? The machine works with, um, with the golfer, takes the club, takes the stick, through the stick here. This is the stick, okay? So it has a golf grip on it, and there's a weight on the top of it, so it makes it a little bit heavier. And he makes 39 golf swings, okay? So if he's a right handed player, he'll swing it 39 times this way, uh, 18 times this way, and then he'll swing 18 times left handed as well to build up resistance, and then he makes three final swings at the end. Okay, so that's how that machine works. And this machine here, Okay. This tells you exactly how fast the club is swinging at. Okay. So what you're trying to achieve is you're trying to get this number to go up the way all the time. So if you swing it at 50 the first day, I'm going to try and get up to 60 the second day. How quickly does it require the results? Instantaneously, straight away. Okay, so as soon as you swing the club, a number comes up here. Okay, it'll show you exactly how fast you've swung the, how, how fast you've swung the stick and how fast you've swung the golf club. So straight away you know how fast you swing it. Okay. So what we're trying to achieve is for the guy who's swinging the club or the girl who's swinging the club to swing it as fast as they possibly can. Okay. So if they can swing the club faster, they can hit the ball further, makes the golf course easier for them. What is the highest speed that is being recorded? Oh, 146 miles an hour is the fastest that anyone has swung the club. Okay. That was one of our lowest handicap golf, one of the best players in the club. He's a big strong boy, we played a lot of hurling as well. Um, and he started at about one two five, I think, in week one, and by week six he was up to one four six. And all we're really trying to do is we put it keep about about a foot away, about the distance between your shoe away from the from the radar there. We swing the club as fast as we can. Okay, so straight away off the bat you can see that's gone to one o one. Okay, so that club was travelling at one hundred and one miles an hour. There, okay. What number did you get? 16. One. See? Again. Good. What was that? 69. 69. Okay, we're all in the 60s. Good. That's Good. a trip to beat them. Okay. Hold on. Yeah.